Seagull breaks down the true impact of the Overwatch 2 roles. At a high MMR anyway, most games are decided by, first, did matchmaking give you a decent tank v tank lineup? If your tank is significantly weaker than the other tank, you automatically lose no matter what. But if they both meet the threshold of skill, then most of the time the tanks cancel each other out and I don't see them carry the game that often unless it's like a crazy doom fist or something, which are really rare. After that threshold of skill for tanks is met, then it's all DPS. Specifically, Widow Sojourn are both crazy good. Supports, I don't really see them do anything. They're just kind of hanging out. Sometimes they carry a little bit, but they're mostly, as long as they do their job and they aren't hard feeding, I don't see them have huge swings in the game one way or another. And most often, to be honest, if one team has like a Mercy Sojourn and the other team doesn't have a Mercy Sojourn or just a Mercy plus whatever, you automatically lose. Because Mercy enables people so hard and you can't kill the Mercy very easily. I say that you can't hard carry games, but at the same time, Mercy, just by how she plays, enables DPS so hard that she actually inadvertently hard carries games, I guess. 